I have a chat to get ready with me. Uh, I really like filming these and apparently you like them too. You like when I talk in my videos. Well, some of you. Now as you can see, my hair is a bit shorter. I actually cut it uh, like a week ago. Just... Yep. And I do like this length. Um, I like when my hair is longer too. But uh, when it's shorter, it's just easier for me to style it, to do something with it because I'm just so lazy when it comes to my hair and I'm, I'm just not good at doing hair things and hairstyles and stuff like this. So I will start with my hair actually for this video and I will do my uh, very loose curls. Um, a lot of you requested me to film, you know, to show you how I do my hair like this because I've been wearing this hairstyle um, in some of my Instagram pictures and a lot of you like it. Apparently. So I will show you today what I do, even though it's nothing too dramatic, too complicated, too professional. It's just something that everybody can do. <laughs> As a hair tool, I'm using my Andrew Curling Iron, which I really like. I really like this brand in general. They have some amazing makeup brushes that I used in the past and I still use. And they also have this bad boy, which I will use for today's hair tutorial. This has a ceramic coating for that really just smooth sleep of the hair. Uh, heats up in 60 seconds to a 210 degrees Celsius, but it has different heating settings actually to suit, uh, you know, really fine hair, normal or very thick hair as well. Also, I love that it has a longer barrel, uh, 21 centimeters in length. So if you have longer hair, you know, you can totally do it all at once. You don't need to do the same section twice to, you know, have that curl on uh, all the length. So if you're looking for a really good, very affordable uh, hair tool, curling iron, I definitely recommend this one. I will have uh, the link for you in the description box. The first thing that I'm doing all the time when curling my hair, I like to have two sections. So I will have just one massive bun. And now I'm creating two sections of this down piece and one I'm clipping again with this little guy so I separate you know all the hair from this section now I will have these small sections small pieces I'm trying to go in this direction so from my face all the time from my face and I'm keeping it for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. And it's great that this is actually a 32 millimeter wand because um, it helps a lot with creating these like looser curls. You don't need a very thin band. Now, taking this like that. And voila, you have a curl. Now, I will just keep it like this. I will do the rest okay, of this. Okay, and now I will put together these two parts, again in a little bun on the back of my head. Now something like this. Again, I will divide the hair in two sections. And at this point, you always need to know exactly, you know, how you want the hair to stay. Do you want to have a midsection? Okay, and now we have all these curls. I will not touch them right now. I will touch them at the end and we'll style this hair a little bit. But now I will just put everything in a bun, a giant bun, or maybe a few. Okay, now starting with my concealer on my eyelids. I will use actually a little bit of this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea one because I haven't used this in a while. By the way, my Anju brush 
from the 18 piece brush collection uh, as an all over shade i will use this one this is actually a face powder from my pony effects this is the marvelous face palette but i think it's also perfect as an all over kind of color and i'm using my hakodo g55 two three brush this will help me with blending later, you know, blending all the colors in the crease. Moving on, I have this All I See Is Magic from Colourpop. This is uh, one of their palettes and it's one of my favorites actually. And I will start with the shade in the crease. And this is a Zoeva 228 brush, which is one of my favorites for crease. Now moving on to this darker shade which is like a dusty mauve color with the same brush and I will try to have basically like a gradient in the crease of these colors I want to mix these two together and now moving on to the Nubian 2 palette from Jervis Place I will take this gorgeous uh, color which is called Jezebel. And I'm using my 231 Zoeva brush. It's like a um, bigger pencil brush in a way and a smaller crease brush. So it's quite precise and I like this. And then I will blend the color in the crease, all three together. Now going back with my brow bone shade from Pony Effect palette to blend everything because if you don't blend this it will look like this <laughs> so based on my eyelids i will use this touch in soul liquid eyeshadow part which you can see it's a bit more on the like bronzy side and this shade is called eldora and i will use my 234 brush from zoeva to apply this on my eyelid and now I will add a little bit of this glittery part. This is quite messy, but uh, I like the effect of this mixed with liquid. So I will apply just a little bit on top for the sparkle. Okay, now I'll quickly do my brows and be right back. Now I will use this uh, Jourme. Jourme, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's actually, I got this in Hong Kong. It's a Japanese beauty brand. And I will use, it's like a three in one. You have a cream shadow, you have an eyeliner, like a pencil liner, and you have a liquid eyeliner. So I will use this on my, very close to my lash line. I'll just draw a simple line there for some definition and now I'm applying my Lash Expander Liquid Extension Mascara from Mallorca Mallorca now in here on my outer V I will apply a little bit of this color from the Nubian 2 palette just to darken a little bit this area just a little bit Moving on to my face, I will use the No Problem from Touch and Soul. I really like this primer for correcting a little bit my pores and my T-zone. So I will just spread this all over, but I'm mainly applying it on my T-zone. And for my foundation, I'm mixing my 16 brand uh, from Chosunga foundation and my Infallible Pro Matte foundation. These are the two opposite foundation because this one is quite dewy, this one is more matte and a bit more high coverage. So I like to mix these two to have like perfect balance. Now under my eyes, I will use my Cinema Secrets Corrector in Peach. This is from my Correct palette. It's in light. And I just like to apply this with my finger because I'm warming up the product. And now on top, I will use my Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Concealer that I received from Influencer. And I 
I will apply this just on top. Well, now I will powder my face using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I will apply in here a little bit with my beauty blender. And then we'll apply just powder all over my t-zone. Sculpting with my Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder in medium. Now on top I will actually mix these two, so the bronzer and the blush, and I will apply it on top of my sculpting. I think um, this will look very nice, kind of like a blush and bronzer two in one. <laughs> Applying it a little bit up. Now I will be using my Smolder Cosmetics Golden Illuminator, which I actually really like, it's really good. And I will apply this to just on my cheekbones to highlight everything. Now I will apply on my lower eyelid the mauve shade and then the dark burgundy. I will apply this in my waterline. This is an Aqua XL Make Forever Eye Pencil in M40, like a canary yellow. I think this will just make this makeup to pop. Okay, now applying some mascara on my lower lashes as well. And then I will just pop in some false lashes. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so let it dry. And then remove it with this thing, with a spoolie. I always do. Now for my lips, I will use this lipstick. This is the Alex Avian Fair Nude. It's very cheap, but it's really gorgeous. Okay, so the makeup is done. Now I will just let my hair down. Look what I found! Miyoko. <laughs> smells, smells like makeup. Hello! Miyoko Goku? Okay, now what I like to do, I like to apply a little bit of this. This is my Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream. And it, it looks just like this. This will help with all this freeziness and will just define a little bit more the curls and let you do like this especially on my ends and now just to keep everything in place a little bit i will use my big sexy hair uh hairspray and i'm, and I'm mainly applying this on the ends and voila these are my loose curls very messy Curly hair. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Let me know if you like this hair. Let me know if you like this length. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.